Hi, welcome to the tutorial. We are installing Arch Labs on our system. First of all, we're going to do it the safe way, meaning we're going to install it in VirtualBox. If we decide then that Arch Labs deserves an own hard disk or an SSD, then you can do so. Installing uh, Arch Labs on a VirtualBox enables me to uh, film everything. That's one thing. And uh, then I can share you also the knowledge how to um, set up uh, VirtualBox to run anything, any virtual machine, any distro. You can uh, pop in there and you can install it. First off, let's start where we are, what we are doing here. We are on Arch Labs, so this is Arch Labs, what you're looking at, this is blank. And this is the menu of Arch Labs, which is OpenBox. And it's a menu that I've made myself, so Arch Labs is very um, user-friendly, you can make a complete uh, you know, a new menu system the way you want it. So that's nice. We are working on Arch, Arch Linux. We have 4.9.11 as kernel. We are using this amount of memory. The packages we have installed, we are using Bash, OpenBox, the Arc theme, which is uh, still the blue one, I guess, and the Sadimono Numix Colora icons, which you can see here. And this terminal is called Termite. Okay, so um, that's that. We're going to install Oracle, the virtual box from Oracle. And here it is. You go to the virtualbox.org. If you go one step up and one step up, you get this big button. Use the big button, click it, and choose what you're on. Are you on Windows? Are you on Mac? On Linux? And whatever you choose, you follow it and you install an executable or you go to OSX and you install a DMG or you go to Linux distributions and then you decide what you run to check them out. All these until this one, this is the last one, are all Debian files, all Debians, so a tab file and all the thing, the, the one thing you have to figure out is am I having um, 64 bits which is most of the time the case 64 bits DEP Debian so you download it you double click it and you install it then you have this virtual box installed and then it's up to us to figure out how to install Arch Linux in this case Arch Labs so it's Arch Labs is uh, based on Arch Linux, but it's an open box desktop environment, and the goal is to bring Bunsen Lab, which is based on Debian, to Arch. So the basis is Arch, open box, Bunsen Lab look. Okay, let's install it now. So we have this virtual box that we've uh, been able to install. You run it, and we can make a new one, create a new virtual machine. You give yourself a name that you remember, so Arch Labs. In my case, I'm going to name it Tutorial 1. It's a Linux system, it's 64 bits. You take Next. Then it's up to you to decide. I have 8 megabytes of RAM, so I'm going to give half of them to this Arch Labs and half to Arch Labs, which costs this host. This is the host here. And this is what we call a guest. So this is the guest. Arch Labs is going to be installed inside VirtualBox. That's what we call um, the host, uh, the guest, sorry. And what, where is it on? It's installed on Mac. Okay, then that's the host. So we're getting, giving it half of the memory, which is common sense, I guess. Create a virtual hard disk. Yes, please. Virtual. It's not a hard one. It's a file. It's a, where everything will reside on dynamically allocated fine and then you decide how big it should be so 8 gigabytes is a bit uh, small with 20 gigabytes will really have enough and then you create this of course depends also about of, of your uh, space you have left on your hard disk but okay assuming you have 20 gigabytes you go ahead and then you shouldn't start it. No, you should do some things first. Then you go to the settings. 
and there's the name you can change again nothing to do here show you anyway system nothing to do here maybe this for some people enable EFI special OSS only but I don't think so so this one you're going to give half of the CPUs I have eight of them four CPUs to the host four CPUs to the guest and let's not fight let's not eh? let's divide the power let's divide the energy over the two of them you can extend the features if you have them you can do it when checked the physical address extension feature of the host cpu will be exposed to the virtual machine i can do this because hardware uh, allows me to but it's not necessary acceleration is already uh, set display well i have 16 megabytes now out of 128 so again I'm gonna give 50-50. I want to enable 3D acceleration to, well, hopefully have a strong, uh, best video capabilities. But surely we'll not have uh, the need to do 3D on our host. But anyway, you might want to. All this is nothing for the moment, but the storage is quite important. We should pop in the CD we need to have an ISO file to install Arch Labs where do we get it well we go to Arch Labs which is archlabsblog.wordpress.com so this is the website this is the get Arch Labs link we go to SourceForge we have this Arch Labs here created by Dobby03 and we have here now uh, plus three. So if you can do browse all files, you'll see in the future if you have a later version, plus four, plus five, and so on. So we download this one. If we've downloaded that, <coughs> it's gonna be here in the downloads. So plus three has been downloaded already. And now we can mount it. How do we mount it? <coughs> We click on this icon of a CD, we click on this icon of the CD, and we choose the virtual optical disk file. We go to our downloads, and we click on the file. That's it, but it should be in there. If we forgot to do it, nothing will happen. So now it knows there's a virtual uh, ISO <coughs> loaded in the system, and it'll try to boot from the CD or in this case more a DVD, 1.63 gigabytes. Everything is set, we can go, and that's what we'll do in the next tutorial.